Naruto live action. Oh, so they are making a Naruto live action movie. Okay. Shang Chi director. What's up, everybody? Damon here, and today in your entertainment. Damon from the, the Fix. Naruto live action movie gets a director. Orphan Black gets a spinoff, and Crunchyroll is working on a fix for its wronged Funimation users. Let's get into it. So they are making Naruto live action. Hmm. A live-action Naruto movie is in the works at Lionsgate with Shang-Chi's Destin Daniel Cretton tapped to write and direct. Cretton has already met with franchise creator Masashi Kishimoto, who will help oversee the film. Cretton said in the announcement, it was a true wow. to meet Kishimoto-san in Tokyo and hear his expansive vision for his creation. We are very excited to collect- Oh yeah, Shang-Chi, that was a great movie. I forgot all about that one. Naruto already has multiple I'm not, movies dude. and series and games under its belt. Its manga alone has printed more than 250 million copies in more than 60 countries over the last few decades. In a statement, Kishimoto talked about his meeting with Cretton, saying he can't help but be excited for the film. It reads, When I heard of Destin's attachment, it happened to be right after watching a blockbuster action film of his, and I thought he would be the perfect director for Naruto. After enjoying his other films and understanding... Okay, so he saw Shang-Chi and was like, let's make Naruto. I became convinced that there is no other director right. for Naruto. In actually meeting Destin, I also found him to be an open-minded director who was willing to embrace my input and felt strongly that we no. would be able to cooperate together in the production process. To put it simply, the live-action Naruto is bound to be a film with spectacular action and profound drama. I can't help but be excited for it. A live-action Naruto movie was said to have the been heck was going on there? time, but today's news finally gives fans some clear direction. The movie has no release window, so we'll have to wait to see when it will arrive. Moving on, over the weekend, IGN exclusively revealed that Orphan Black Echoes will premiere on AMC, AMC Plus, and BBC America this June. I don't know what this Chris is. As Lucy, Orphan Black Echoes? With no memory of who she is. This clip shows Lucy grappling with that memory loss. She grows more panicked, however, after she discovers a lab where clones are being made. We also have a new poster for Orphan Black Echoes here, focusing on Ritter as Lucy emerges from a tank of pink goo as a freshly made clone. Orphan Black Echoes is a spin-off of the Tatiana Maslany starring Orphan Black, which ended its five-season run in 2017. Echoes is set in the year 2052. I did. According to the show's official synopsis, you're absolutely follow right. A group of women as they unravel the mystery of their identity. I know that pun. And uncover a wrenching story of love and betrayal. I don't know what I was so thinking. Marcia returned to AMC for Ritter, who previously appeared in the network's acclaimed Breaking Bad. Given the nature of Orphan Black, we wouldn't be surprised to see her portray several clones in the 10-episode season. Maslany, after all, played 17 different clones over the course of the original show's 50 episodes. Never saw Orphan Black. In a recent interview with The Verge, Crunchyroll president Rahul Perini announced the anime streamer is working on a solution for customers who will lose access to their Funimation digital libraries when its web and app services shut down on April 2nd. Whoa, Funimation's. Wow, that's crazy. I didn't know Funimation was shutting down. ...onto a Crunchyroll account. One stark aspect of the blog post that put anime fans in a... I know. We can't stop them. ...revealing the merger would not support digital copies of Funimation TV shows and movies. Before Crunchyroll and Funimation's merger, users could redeem digital copies of anime by entering codes found in DVD or Blu-ray releases. What's more, Funimation users were once promised they would be able to stream their digital versions of shows and movies forever with some terms of use caveats. Suffice it to say, Funimation users weren't pleased to hear this feature wouldn't be carried over in the merger. Now, Perini tells The Verge that Crunchyroll is workshopping a solution for Funimation users that will provide an appropriate value for their lost digital anime titles. Perini said, We are working really hard directly with each customer to ensure that they have an appropriate value for what they got in the digital copy initially. As people reach out to us through customer service, we are responding and handling each of those requests as they prefer. You know what? That's a good thing. What exactly quantifies as an appropriate value, he did provide some insights into how they could manifest. Perini continued, So it could be that they get access to a digital copy on any of the existing yeah. services where they might be able to access it. It could be a discount access to our subscription service so they can get access to the same shows through our subscription service. It should At be least Crunchyroll's trying, official you know? ...detailing how it will allocate an equivalent exchange of sorts to match the appropriate value of Funimation's digital copies. And that's your entertainment fix for Monday, February 26th. Now that you caught up on the news, check out an exclusive clip of Space Rangers... JJK Man, in the Sam background. Dano. I'm Damon Hatfield, and for all your movie and TV news, stay tuned to IGN. Stay tuned to IGN and me for reacting to them with you. I can't believe they're doing a Naruto live action. Does anyone think that's going to do well? I don't think so, man. I don't think so.